Okay, welcome everybody. Um, we're going to come and find out something about physics today with the help of my two friends, uh, Amber here and Bertie, and they're good friends, and they're going to have a swimming race. So let's see how they get on. Okay, so in the swimming race, ready, steady, go. Okay, so swing down the pool. Looks like they're pretty neck and neck, and oh, it's a dead heat. Okay, so they finished at exactly the same time. Let's see what that means. Time of 8 seconds to travel 40 units. So, there they are on the podium, holding hands at the top. 8 seconds. Let's see what their speed was. Speed, of course, equals distance divided by time. So that was 40 units divided by 8 seconds. That's 5 units per second. So that's their speed. And we know that they swim at exactly the same speed. They both swim at a speed of 5. So, not much point in doing more racing because we know they're swimming at the same speed. So what's going to happen next? Okay, now all those swimmers are with no flow. So now they're going to go to a river and see what happens. Now, in this river, there's a, a flow of 3 units per second. Okay, so we've got this throw flow of 3 units. And they're going to have a little contest. One of them is going to see what happens if they swim downstream. Uh, 40 units so from here to here and back up again and the other one is going to see what happens if they go 90 degrees across the stream 40 units and back 40 units like that so gonna have a race okay and who do you think is going to win is it going to be Amber swimming 90 degrees across and back or Bertie swimming downstream and then upstream. What do you think? Have a think, commit yourself, who's going to win? Let's see. Here we go. So, first we'll start off with uh, with Bertie. Bertie's going to go downstream first. Now, we know there's a flow of 3 units per second. Let's see. And we know he can swim at 5 meters per second, or 5 units per second. So, when he sets off, the resultant speed is going to be 8 units per second, that's 5 swimming and 3 from the flow of the river. So here he goes, downstream, go, boom, 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 that was pretty rapid, okay, let's see what his time was. Time as we know is distance divided by speed, so if we take the distance of 40 and divide it by the speed which was 8, we're going to get a downstream time, pretty rapid, 5 seconds. Now he's got to turn around and go back upstream. So here he goes. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, so we've got a uh, swimming speed of 5 units per second. So he goes up 5, but then the water moves down 3, even though he's moving through the water, which means he only makes it 2 units along the bank. Let's see what's going to happen. Go. Swim, 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 swim. Swim. It's getting hard work. Going upstream is not easy. Swim. Swim. Keep going, Bertie. Keep going. Keep going. Yay! He's made it. So, here we go. Uh, his time is distance divided by speed. So it's 40 units upstream again. But here he was only moving along the bank at 2 units per second, which gives him a time of 20. So let's have a quick look. His total time, that's downstream and upstream, is going to be... 20 units to get back upstream and the 5 units to, to go downstream so that's going to be 25 seconds let's see how Amber fares going across the stream so the stream is 40 wide and she has to go exactly perpendicular to a point perpendicular across the bank and then back again let's see how she does it okay so every second the flow will take her 3 units downstream and she's going to have to angle herself to swim back upstream so that she ends up 90 degrees across the river like that and if you look at this triangle it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle so it's going to be a resultant this way will be 4 units let's see how she goes ready, go swim, 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 swim always at an angle so that she's always flowing moving at 90 degrees across the bank, ferrying across. Okay, what was her time? Well, it's distance divided by speed. The distance was 40, her speed was 4. Here we 
we go. 10 seconds. She has to go back, which means turning round. Again, each second the flow will take her three units downstream. She's going to angle her body so she can then come back and make sure she's moving at 90 degrees to the stream. So that's the resultant speed of four. Here we go. Swim, 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 swim. She's finished. And going back, it's the same setup because actually her speed across the stream this way is the same as her speed was across the stream that way. That's 40 units divided by 4 seconds. That's going to be 10 seconds in total. Okay, and for the trip to go all the way across and come all the way back, well, each leg was 10 seconds. So that's a total of 20. Let's just recap and see who wins then, see if you were right. Okay, so going 90 degrees across and back. That was amber, that was 20 seconds, and to go downstream and then back upstream, downstream was 5 seconds, backstream, upstream was 20 seconds, that's 25 seconds. So, what we've seen is that if there's a flow on the river, okay, it's the person that swims at 90 degrees to the flow who goes across and back that wins, and the person that goes downstream and upstream always loses. And in fact, it doesn't matter how fast the river goes, they will always lose. There's no river speed where they can win. So we can actually use this as a little tool. It's a clever piece of physics. Imagine it was dark and they were just swimming to a light and back. But we couldn't tell if the river was flowing. So we know if the river wasn't flowing, they swim at the same speed, it would be a dead heat. If Amber, the person going across the stream and back, starts to come back a bit sooner, if Bertie starts to come back a bit later, we know that there is a flow on the river. And this is a really important thing, and it was the basis for the thing we're going to look at next, which is the michael Morley experiment to test to see how fast the Earth was moving through the, uh, the ether, the universal uh, medium for light waves. And it had a very surprising result. Thanks for watching. Bye!